Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles show in West Hollywood and I'm here with director Katie McLean with her movie Seniors Believing Women Direct. Let's take a look at a clip. In my late teens, early 20s, I went to see films about Britain by British filmmakers who were rebelling against Thatcher and, you know, were making really engaged, interesting films about the world around us. So you had Mike Lee and Stephen Frears and Ken Loach and Terence Davies. And I thought, gosh, there's a vision there. And I, I know that world. Uh, Katie, congratulations on your film. Like, thank you so much. I think for so many reasons, I'm so happy that you made it um, because it was such a wondrous experience into these people's lives and certainly currently what we are working towards to improve and, and make better. And I'm so glad you brought that story to us. Um, but for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis of your documentary. Well, uh, the short version of this documentary mm -hmm. uh, contains three interviews with female directors, mm -hmm. Sarah Gavron from Suffragette and Brick Lane, mm -hmm. uh, Lee Lu from There Is A New World Somewhere, and Naima Ramos Chapman, whose short film And Nothing Happened premiered at Slam Dance. Mm -hmm. And it follows the journey of these women uh, as to their how they began to decide that they wanted to be directors through how they uh, overcome obstacles and then inspiring words of wisdom to help encourage more women to get into the field or to stay in the field when times get tough. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it can come a, 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 a better time in, 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 in given the circumstances in Hollywood and across the world. It was just so great to hear these stories right now because I feel like hopefully we're going to a revolution to really improve those things. Um, where did the inspiration come for you in actually creating this documentary? That's an interesting question. Um, <laughs> It's so funny. I can't say exactly. Um, it was a, a kind of a culmination of a few moments. Uh, I'd been making short films and taking them around to a few festivals. And at one festival, someone handed me my name tag, and it had little um, stickers on it that said producer and writer, but not director. Oh, wow. And I said to her, I'm the director. And she was like, kind of like shoved the name tag at me because wow. she could literally not see me as the director of that short film. Wow. And uh, I found at the festivals that was not an un, um, unusual situation. A lot yeah. of people would look at me like this, like, you direct that? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I did. It's because it comes out of my brain, not out yeah. of my foot or yeah. any other part of my anatomy. <laughs> and. Um, that was sort of really frustrating, and then I started to hear about the statistics, and I really love directing. I, I found it late in my life, and I came to it late in life. Um, I was very highly discouraged from pursuing it when I was younger. Yeah. Um, my mother in particular said, you know, this is not a place where women are going to succeed. You're going to be very unhappy. You're going to encounter a lot of pushback. Mm -hmm. Please, I beg of you, don't do this. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't... Uh, you know, I didn't go, I didn't rebel, you know, I mm -hmm. was in a family situation where she was very sick and it was just not an opportunity mm -hmm. to to uh, rebel against her at that moment. So when I came into it, I, I was just like a sudden rush of joy of, of what it felt like to be on set, to be the visionary, to be the storyteller, mm -hmm. to collaborate with other artists, uh, to be able to craft um, a film visually and with music and editing the way I saw it, mm -hmm. you know? And in my career as an actor, I, very few people ask you what you think mm -hmm. uh, or how you see things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they tell you, stand here, do it like that, I like that, don't do it that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're not asked for your vision as a mm -hmm. creative person. And, mm -hmm. um, so it was, a, it was a thrill to direct and to hear that the statistics were so um, daunting, that yeah. the, the possibilities for me actually making a a living as a director or were so slim to yeah. none. I mean, it's 4% of women still directing features. That it's one insane. of the uh, studios came out with a slate of their next, um, all the films that they're going to do for the next two years, and there's not a single woman directing any of those films for two it, years. It's, it's very, it's, it's unreal, and I, you know, um, certainly, 
you know, being a chair of film festival, we're very adamant in, in, in gender equality and, and, and diversity and opportunity through entertainment. And it sickens me and saddens me that we've still got a lot to do. I certainly know that mm. we've um, definitely got an equal opportunity in, 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 well, just an equal group of talented people, both male and female, which is so amazing because we're not lacking talent. Right. We are just lacking the opportunity. Yeah. And so I'm glad against all the, people that said probably no, even people close to you, that yeah. you're, you did this and you made this happen yeah. and, and you're very talented. Um, and so what was it like to, you know, direct this documentary and, and hear these stories from, the, from these women and, and understanding and going through their trials and tribulations? What was that experience like? Well, it was like um, getting a direct infusion of like, high quality vitamins. <laughs> yeah. you know I, mean? I love that. That's a great like, quote. <gasps> like my whole body was just sort of flush with mm -hmm. hope and um, inspiration and encouragement and possibility. You know, that's the thing I, I think, especially for women, we, the, the field is so dominated by the stories of men going off on journeys mm -hmm. and, you know, conquering and overcoming difficulties and, mm -hmm. and, and women's difficulties are, you know, oh, I overcome you know, the, the, my wedding plan, you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah, these yeah. are the stories, like certainly for the last 30 years yeah. that we've been raised on, or I overcame my romantic trials and tribu tribulations yeah. rather than, you know, I overcame this business d difficulty or I overcame yeah. this situation at work so that I had to like manage yeah. and, um, you know, so that I could retain my sense of um, authority in the situation. Mm -hmm. and. So to hear those stories and how these women uh, who are also creative, you mm -hmm. know, it's not just a business thing where you're sort of demanding and laying on the line what needs to be done and what, you know, um, how your authority needs to be respected because you're the boss. Mm. You have to not lose um, the person that you're talking to's uh, you know, ability to contact their own creativity, Yeah. right? Because yeah. if you're dominating a situation, that person's uh, availability to their own creativity will start to shut down. Yeah, that's right. That's right? That's right, that's and, right. Uh, so you've got to figure out a way to do it in which you're kind of kind of crafting that new relationship. It's, mm -hmm. cr it's called creative leadership, really. And, and you, you, you are a creative leader yourself. And, 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 and you know what was so wondrous is that, I don't know if you've even met, I had a, there was a couple of girls at the, that watched the film mm. and they said they left and they felt so empowered to mm. go out and make their projects now mm. that it, it changed them and it, it touched them as like it made, gave them belief. Mm. What does that feel like? Like you, you've, you've been on this journey of creating this documentary, you have your film script, New Filmmakers LA, you get people speaking the, and you're inspiring them to go make their projects mm. as as the next emerging, you know, talented and just have to be female. What does that make you feel? It's the greatest feeling in the world. Yeah. It, it feels like job has my, my job has been done. I, yeah. I accomplished my goal. Because uh, you know, you, I really try to look at every film uh, that I do or every project that I do and I think, okay, I'm going to die in a mm -hmm. certain point in my life. Mm -hmm. And what do I want to have left behind? Mm -hmm. And to, have, to know that I've opened up the doors for other women mm -hmm. of hope, mm -hmm. of possibility for themselves. Uh, to th that they feel encouraged by something that I made, you know, mm -hmm. specifically for them, and that they're going to go out and make something. I don't think you can come up with a better feeling. Yeah, than that. it's the best. It's isn't like it? the deepest, most profound joy in, the, mm -hmm. in my gut. Mm -hmm. It's oh, it's incredible. I was, we should all just work for you, Caddy. <laughs> so you can imagine it's just working on set of you is just so exciting and it's so empowering, it's so wonderful and, and, and it's so great. And you know, it's, it's, I always say we need to be in a world where it's not just women supporting women, it's people supporting each other for yeah. all of our causes to create a better totally. humanity and what a great platform we have in the moving image to do so. Yeah. And, and here we are. Um, what is next for you? Uh, the next thing I'm working on, and I, I just want to touch on something oh, about please. that, just just to go back to that, because uh, it, it, some of the men who've come to see this film, mm -hmm. uh, one of them in particular said to me, I was so depressed about my own creativity, mm -hmm. and then I watched this film, and now I'm excited to make work again. And that was super important to me, yeah. because I don't want this uh, this issue to become a, you know, men have been keeping us down, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Some people, and I think men and women have been, um, uh, equally kind of participatory in this have, mm -hmm. have taken an idea mm -hmm. and clung to this idea and mm -hmm. that's just the idea that's wrong. Mm -hmm. It's not the gender that's wrong. Yeah. Uh, it's not either gender that's wrong. It's uh, not like yeah, a specific I, yeah. group of people that's wrong. It's an idea that's wrong. Yeah. And so together like we're co-creating a new idea, right? Yeah, most and definitely. And I want people of 
all ages, mm -hmm. races, genders, to participate in the creation of this new idea. Mm -hmm. Because then we'll have all these fantastic new stories. That's exactly, right? you know, exactly. And let's celebrate the great world that we live in and the different perspectives that we've all come from. Absolutely. I feel like, we, I felt like, I thought we, we, in this interview, <laughs> we should go off and start a revolution for, I just, I'm ready for it. I'm just like ready to go march or do something. You <laughs> really inspired me. So, I'm so um, glad. So apart from our revolution that we're going to yes. do as soon as this take is over, what is next for you? Well, the next thing I'm doing, I'm actually doing a read through of a play that I've been uh, working oh, on with um, a playwright in, in New York, and I really want to shoot at three camera live. Yeah. Because I'm very excited about very that. Very cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. I love like, having conversations with people on the internet yeah. and being able to reach such a broad audience. Yeah. And I love live theater and I love live events. Yeah. I, I love all of those live events that they've been shooting. Uh, on, on some of the network shows, whether yep. it's theater or you know, yeah, it's performance. Wonderful, yeah. There's something really riveting about that. that yeah. It's happening right now yeah. in the moment. And I think that's the, uh, you know, to be able to introduce people to that is would be amazing. I think, is it Coppola? Coppola's really into this live yes, film, right? Yes, definitely. And I'm like so interested, like how do we make something that's not like a, pl a, a big performance, like I'm acting. It's yep. not in that size of yep. theater, but I kind of sort of, this cross between theater, film, and television. Yeah, it's I'm very cool. Fa I'm so fascinated by it. So we're, oh, that's we're in the process of that. Yeah, and then I get to um, go on a set on f Tuesday uh, with a multicam director, and I'm going to start learning more about that. So oh, brilliant. That's kind of what we're, we're moving forward. Oh, yeah. this is very exciting yeah. times for you. Well, yeah. listen, we need to get this film out everywhere, and, and, and we're so grateful to have you and your talent. Thank you for thank your you. vision, and thank you so much for, for creating something that is just going to, you know, inspire us all, and, and I'm very so grateful. So, Aww. you're brilliant, and you're, you know, we we'll welcome you back for all your projects. So please let, keep us up to date. Oh, it's been my pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Oh, you're for so welcome. Me. I appreciate it.